that's what happens when you're not careful with the train tracks, buddy. That is on you. By the way, look how big this thing looks when it's in my hand. <laughs> oh, the tr the fellow tr <laughs> No! Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be playing with the immersive railroading mod. Before we get into the video though, I wanna start this video by saying thank you for bringing this channel to 70,000 subscribers. I'm still blown away by all the love and support. It, it does mean a lot. Second of all, I wanna make it clear that by me making this video, you should not assume that I'm done with non-Euclidean Minecraft. No, no, no. I'm just taking a break as to not burn myself or you all out on that kind of stuff. I mean, if I ride the trend out until it dies with nothing else to fall back on, like, like what, what am I doing? I mean, that'd be stupid. Also, if you haven't clicked off within those first 20 seconds, then, uh, hi! I'm gonna be experimenting with face cam stuff in the future, so if you don't know what I look like or were curious, hello! Anyways, as per usual, if you like this video and you want to see more stuff like this, then do consider subscribing. It, of course, is free, and you can change your mind at any point. While I was searching through my YouTube analytics, I found an interesting statistic. And no, it is not the percentage of people that are and aren't subscribed. No, I found the total number of unique viewers on my channel. So. In theory, if everybody watching this, everybody watch, who watches my videos in the past month or so were to subscribe to my channel, I would have 500,000 subscribers. That's how many people who have been watching my content lately. 500,000 people have been watching my content and I have 70,000 subscribers. To the 430,000 or so of you who didn't get the memo, like, what are, you, what are you doing? What's the deal? Come on, tell me. In all seriousness though, if you do like the video, then obviously consider subscribing and ringing that little bell and also like the video and drop a comment down below for the algorithm. You guys have been amazing on that. Please do keep it up. It's, 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 it's helping this channel more than you realize and I'm very appreciative of it. But that's all I gotta say. So enjoy the video. So the first thing I want to get out of the way is that, you know, I really like trains. This, this, the choice of mod here, that wasn't just like a whim. I really do enjoy trains. Actually, you know what? I could show you real quick. You can see the model railroad that I'm currently building behind me. And there's a bunch of crap on the floor. Mind that. Suffice to say, I like trains a lot. And for those of you who are curious, yes, because there's been a few of you who have picked up on it. The CSX in my name does in fact refer to the railroad company or the railroad transport. It's, it's a CSX is a trains thing. Um, I like trains. So I had a really good time discovering this mod. With that explanation out the way, something else I'm gonna bring up from the comments, I'm gonna get my notepad out, which is real. And, and I have a notepad and I'm going to... Okay, so we're gonna switch to the, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna switch, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna switch to the, the, the in-game recording. First thing I'm gonna do is lay some track, which is done in a very interesting way. So I've got this track here and I can place it down wherever, which also um, brings me to realize that the trains are big, just like real trains, if you didn't know. They're a little big. The track laying is very interesting. You can place tracks, you've got this track blueprint here, but if I right click, you can then see all of these settings and I can set like, you know, the direction it's turning. If I have it set to turn, which you can do with the type here, you got crossings, slopes, turns, switches, and turntables, which I have yet to mess with. Custom curves and just regular straight track. You can set the length of the track here or if, cur if you're doing curves, it's the radius and blocks of the curve, but we're just gonna stick with straight 10 block segments because there's a lot. Actually, you know what? Let me do something real quick. Let me make like a little circle track around this village. Okay, so I'm gonna build this track around this village. Let's start with maybe 60 blocks straight. That seems like it would be enough, right? Oh, that's very long. Let's maybe go 40. Let's lay that, see how it looks squared up with the rest of the village. I think that looks quite good. Double this so I can save that straight track. Let's do a turn. Let's see how big this looks with a 40 block radius. Actually, it looked like you'd work pretty well. So we're just gonna make like a simple loop of track. We're not gonna do anything crazy. Something else that's a little strange, if you don't have a perfect ground setup, the track just won't place, but uh, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with just filling in this grass real quick. A couple more 90 degree segments and we will be on our way, or rather the trains will be on their way. Okay, so we've got ourselves a nice little loop of track. Let's start looking at the trains. Let's get to the good stuff. Now, I actually have a resource pack for this mod installed, which we're gonna get to, but the base mod includes a healthy selection of like, you know, steam locomotives, a few diesel locomotives, and just a couple other things. It comes with a few, you know, pieces of rolling stock or like carriages that will you can put things in. I'll show you that in a minute too. And then there's a few passenger cars. Pretty much all of these are from the resource pack. These first three come with the mod itself. I'll link everything down below, like the, the mod and the resource pack. So 
don't really need to worry about this right now. But let's start by placing a train. We're gonna start with this General Electric C44-9W. And when I said the trains were big, I was not kidding. Look at this absolute monster. You right click on it. Yeah, have a look at that. I'm in the cab and I can look at the controls. This, and, and as someone who knows about trains, I can say that this is pretty accurate as to what they look like. If you look in the bottom right, you got a little GUI. You've got your brake, your throttle, your fuel, and your temperature, and you've got your speed. Now, if I, if I hit the keys for this and I try and start the engine, you don't hear anything because I've got no fuel. So what you're going to want to do is hop in to here. I've also got immersive engineering. That was a recommended mod that pairs well with this. So I don't know if you can't get to this stuff without it, but it's highly recommended. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bucket of biodiesel. I'm going to go back into the engine and I'm going to right click. And you can see this comes up and it says zero out of 174,000. So we're going to make a bunch of buckets and we're just going to start right clicking these. And as you can see, our fuel tank is starting to fill up. So now that we've got some fuel to take, if I hit this plus, if I hit plus, which is like the engine on button, if I hit that, if you can see by the exhaust port on the back, on the top, the train is warming up. That's what that temperature gauge was for at the bottom. But what I wanna also show you real quick, and this, this completely took me by surprise. It made my day when I found this. If I go to the immersive railroading tab and I click this paintbrush and I right click on this locomotive, come on. Uh, it's me. <laughs> I had no idea this was here. It's awesome. So if you're going to have a train, what do you need? You need to pull some cars. So we've got a whole bunch of rolling stock here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab this like hopper here. Now, if you look closely, you can see it says 108 stacks capacity. Now the keen amongst you might be able to guess what that means. But if I place that down and I, you got just, it's just like a hopper, it's just a hopper car. Lots of trains have these. And if you right click, I said, if you right click, yeah, this is all the space you have to carry it. You can use the trains to haul large quantities of materials. That's what trains do. This is awesome. So let's hop out of here and let's hop in the train. And uh, I think we should be good to go. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up on the throttle a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna hop out. How cool is this? It's just a train. Oh, and. Uh, <laughs> That's what happens when you're not careful with the train tracks, buddy. That is on you. Most railroads are uh, privately owned property. Do not trespass on railroad tracks. That is the PSA for today. Trains are big, dangerous, and they're not toys. And uh, as you can see, oh, it looks a little weird going around the super tight curves. But uh, yeah, it's a train. I don't know what else to say. It's it, it does what it says on the thing. While this train is making its rounds, I'm going to refer to my notes, um, show how track laying works, Show off the wide selection of trains. We're getting to that. Show how they work. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. And this train looks like it's starting to really move. Let's have a look. Hello. <laughs> this, this makes me so happy. It's just like, it's just, it's, I, it, uh. All right, so let's hop in here real quick. We're gonna back off on the throttle and we're gonna apply some brakes and we're gonna watch this train slowly roll to a slop. A slop, a stop. It, it stopped before I could even correct myself on saying that it was going to slowly stop, which it didn't in the first place. So we're going to shift right click, shift left click, and train go bye bye. So now let's get rid of this and let's mess with a steam locomotive. Now there are some, there is a pretty good selection of steam locomotives, but we're going to start small. We're going to start small and we're going to show off the A5 switcher. It's, it's a very small locomotive, but it is... A beautiful steam locomotive, nonetheless. It's a little, it's a little yard switcher. It's nothing crazy. Let me actually real quick time set. Let's say nine thousand. There we go. So we can actually see it. So the the models if that they made for this are they they look fantastic. I know they're not really blocky like the rest of Minecraft. We'll get to that. I got something to show you, but there it's it's beautiful. It looks fantastic. I I I'm so impressed by the work that's been done here. I love this. So before we get into this, I'm gonna give a quick crash course on how steam locomotives work. So you've got coal in here. Coal goes into that, which is the firebox. Boils the water that's around here. That water boils, turns into steam, gets routed all through the boiler and into these chambers, which push these rods, which are connected to these wheels, thus making them turn. That's the chugga chugga. That's the chugga chugga. You know, this gesture, that's what that is. Anyways, the rules are no different in this mod. So we're gonna right click and we've got a bucket, 
which um, much like the uh, diesel tank in the last engine, you just fill with water buckets. And then all this down here is for the coal, for the fire. And I'm sure you can put other like burnable materials and maybe even lava. I haven't tested it with the lava, but for the sake of authenticity, I'm gonna use coal and I'm gonna use water because that's, that's, uh, that's how it usually goes. And as you can hear, things are starting to happen. You can see down there, the water temperature is starting to increase. We've got no steam pressure yet because the water's not boiling. And uh, that's just the water tank gauge on that side there. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna wait for the steam locomotive's pressure to start building up. And uh, I'll catch you in about maybe a few minutes, it, it, three, five minutes. It, it, it doesn't take too long. All right, so let's have a look. Okay, so if you look in the bottom corner, you can see that we've got our water is boiling. We're at 100 degrees Celsius. We've built up a whole bunch of steam pressure. So, so what that means is if I tap the throttle, if I tap it again, one more time. Hey, if I hop out, how cool is that? It's, it's a train. <laughs> Dude, I, I messed with this for hours. Like literally doing what I'm doing right now. I just set up a loop of track and I just watch trains go round and round. This makes me so happy. And it, it's a train. It's literally just a train. You can, you can pull the whistle too. I can. Now here's the thing, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the train and I'm gonna break this. It gives me back the coal it didn't burn off which is a nice touch. Now I've broken this loop of track because there's one train that I do wanna show you and I'm not gonna run it around a loop because it takes a long time for it to steam up. But if you guys are familiar with the big boy, then you know what's coming. But if you don't, the big boy is the most powerful steam locomotive in the world. The big boy, as, it was, as it's called, because it's large, has actually made it into this mod. As the name suggests, it's quite big. And just being able to just look at something like this in Minecraft, like that, that's just, Colossal, that's huge. And these things exist. One of them runs, it's it's huge. Now, here's the thing. I mentioned that these models were very well made, very well detailed, they're very accurate and they look really nice. Now, I mentioned that resource pack earlier. That resource pack adds voxel trains. So let me real quick add the voxel big boy because the big boy is one of the trains that this mod adds. And when I first saw this, it was game over. I fell in love. Cause just, just look at this. It's, it looks so good. I would run this train. However, it takes a very, 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 very long time for, oh, also by the way, look how big this thing looks when it's in my hand. <laughs> it's ridiculous. There's a reason that I didn't choose to run that big boy because the, the time it takes to steam up is incredibly long. However, we're still gonna run the big boy because there is one thing that I have yet to show you guys. And this, when I saw this, it was game over. This this just like made my day. This made my week. This just made me so happy to find. So if I right click, you can see a bunch of options here. And the keen amongst you will have noticed gauge. Now gauge, for those who don't know about trains, is the distance apart from the rails. And this determines, you know, some trains run on skinnier sets of tracks like narrow gauge and some are wider. So. In this mod, there's what's called Brunel scale, which is bigger than the trains that I've been using. And it's it's huge. I mean, the trains on it are quite big. So if I place one, we're gonna just use the big boy as an example. I mean, that's just, that's just ridiculously huge. I don't think, I wanna say, I'm wondering if this is like the actual scale. I don't know if it is, if this is more accurate to Minecraft, I'm not sure, but make no mistake, the big boys are huge. This might as well be accurate. I'm not sure. I haven't done the math, but I'm just showing you this exists. Anyways, we go back down to standard, which is the next one down. Let me place a bit of standard track. And let me place the big boy on it again. So you can see the, the, the standard size for the big boy. It's still big, but it's not as big as Brunel. Brunel is colossal. And this is where things start to get interesting. You've got narrow gauge, which is a thing in real life. There are full size trains that do run on smaller track, much like the Brunel track and the standard track, the train does scale match with the size of track it's on. So as you can see here, we've got the narrow gauge big boy, but it just proportionally scales it down. If we go down one more, we've got Minecraft, and this is Minecart track. And no, I've tried it. You can't run these trains on Minecraft track, and you also can't run minecarts on these track. Kind of a disappointment, but I'm not mad. So if we place this down, 
again, you can see the big boy in all of its glory in a very small scale. Now, this next one just warmed my heart, drove me nuts. I played with it for hours. If you go one more down, it says model. Now, <laughs> this, it's so small, first of all. And second of all, look at it. Just, there's model trains. You can do model trains in this. Look at that. <laughs> Let me get rid of all this. Get rid of all these big boys. Let me get rid of the track. Let me get rid of this and this and this and this and you and you. And I am going to set up myself a model train railway around this village. So give me, give me just, give me just a little second. All right. So I've got two loops of track here. One of them kind of goes around back on itself on the inside. And the other one's kind of going outside this entire village. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a couple trains up on it. And we're just going to end the video there after I ask you one question, but we'll get to that. Let's throw the big boy on the track because much like a model train like this, much like the real sized thing, it does run on coal and steam. However, it runs on a lot less of it. So we can, we can steam up the boiler in much less time. So, oops, I actually got on it, but that's okay. So let's throw in some water buckets, fill this whole thing up, and we're going to just fill this little slot with coal. So you can already tell that it's much smaller than the bigger trains, but we're going to let this uh, steam up. And while we do that, I am going to place down some coaches for it to pull. When this steams up, we are just going to back into everything and it automatically couples everything. So we will back up just a bit until all of these are hooked up and we'll be off on our way. So let me just finish placing this train. And uh, in the interest of speed, I will now set up the fastest train in this mod, which is this right here, the CP5600. Its uh, max speed is a scale 220 kilometers an hour, and it's pretty fast. Let me let me get this set up so you can see. And let's uh, place you, place a few cars on the outside. We will get some biodiesel. Where is it? Biodiesel. There you go. Let's uh, get in here. 7,000. Can do. Once again, we're just going to sit and wait for uh, this to steam up, and uh, yeah. And uh, on my list is also to show off the model scale. So let's uh, scribble that one out real quick. Okay, so while this is steaming up and while the other train is warming up, before I end the video, I have a proposal and I wanna hear your thoughts on this. Using this mod, believe it or not, you can, from the ground up, build trains from their component parts, which I think is insane. But what? I kind of want to do, I am going to run a mini series, a little survival mini series, and I am going to do that. I found a seed where there's two villages that are relatively close to each other, and I am going to try and connect to them with a railway. I don't know if it's going to loop. I don't know if it's just going to be point to point, but I want to build a track between them, build a train from the ground up, go from point A to point B. That's going to be the goal for the series. I think it's going to be really fun. I hope you guys are excited as I am. We're just kind of waiting on this. So while we're waiting, why don't you drop a comment down below? Tell me what you think of the idea. I'm very excited. I think it's going to be very fun. I don't know how many episodes it's going to be, at least a few, but there's a lot to learn about this mod and I am all for it. Okay, let's back up just a bit. Oh, did we pick up the train? We picked up the train. All right, and I'm just going to, we're not going to go full speed, but there it goes. How cool is that? Little model train in Minecraft. Dude, this makes me... You guys have no idea how happy this makes me. But it's just... It... It's... I could watch this all day. <laughs> really, I could just watch... Sit here. And watch this train go by all day. And, uh... Yeah, and it's just gonna go around. It's not gonna, like... It's not gonna... It, it's, it's just a model train! Let's see. Are you steamed up yet? Actually, let's, uh... Make way for the train. Hello. Hi. Let's see. Yeah, we're just starting to build up pressure now. It won't be long. Let me add some coaches to this train over here. Let's make it a little longer. Let's let's get over here and stop the train real quick. And stop. And brakes. Brakes. Stop. Lovely. Back here. Let's go six coaches. I feel like six is a nice healthy number. Let's back up until we've got all these coaches. I'm pretty sure we've got them all. Yes, we do. Okay, let's uh, let's go forward. I'm gonna hop off this and uh, I don't know why the sounds are still as loud as they are, but <laughs> this, this like, <sighs> I'm so happy. Are you ready? Oh, we've got pressure. All right, let's back this up. Oh, we didn't actually couple to the tender. Let me go forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. All right, All right let's start backing up. Give it a little bit of, oh, hi. 
Give it a little bit of reverse throttle and make sure we get all these cars. We're going a little fast already. I'm just gonna wait for that to start moving. It has, all right. Let's, uh, we're not gonna go full steam ahead because this thing isn't crazy fast, but we're gonna give it a nice healthy amount of steam. And uh, there you go. There goes the big boy. And there goes the other trains. We've got trains. We're running trains. I c I'm probably gonna just play with this for a long time after I stop recording, but there it goes. And here come all the coaches. I'm dropping frames a little. It's cause I got a lot of tracks spawned, but it's just trains. It's just trains. Oh, the, the village. <laughs> no. Oh, he almost got hit by trains. Oh my goodness. But yeah, there's really not much else to show here. What the? How did? Why did you decouple? Stop. 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 <gasps> I don't know why that happened. I think it has something to do with what happens when tracks are running really close to each other. That locomotive is still just running though. Yeah, you're still running. Okay, well, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of this train. Where's the big boy? Let's grab you and just uh, get the coal. Now I know, given my YouTube statistics, that there are a fair amount of people from England who watch my videos. Hello. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in one of your trains. Tornado, let's go. And we're gonna throw in some coaches. And once again, I'm just gonna steam this up and back it into everything and uh, we'll end the video there. So just bear with me for a second. Okay, oh, and this is a very small, very, very small. And uh, let's just wait. From what I understand, I haven't found a quicker way to, you know, steam these up, but I'm not worried about it. I know a lot of you might think I'm playing this up, but as someone who's really, really like interested in trains, this stuff makes me so happy. I, I don't know if this translates well on camera, but I am, I love this stuff. I love I love this stuff, which is why I'm hope which is why I'm hoping you guys are as excited of the idea of doing this in survival as I am, because I think it could be really fun. Can I if I just full throttle it in reverse? Do we have enough pressure? We do not. That is actually using up pressure. I'm gonna wait. Ten piece eye reversing. <gasps> Here we go. Oh, keep it going. There we go. All right. So. Give it some throttle and uh, there you have it. That's just gonna slowly accelerate as pressure builds up, but uh, as, a, as a model train in Minecraft, I don't know what else there is to say. So I'm gonna say my piece and you know, head out. So that my friends is gonna do for this video. So if you like this video and you wanna see more stuff like this, then do please subscribe and share this video to your friends, places, things and the blah, blah, blah. But that, that right there is gonna do for this video and I will see all of you in the next one. Now we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.